Gold Star mothers are those who've lost a child in service of their country. Tracy Taylor of Chicopee is a Gold Star mother and the president of Gold Star Mothers of Massachusetts and Rhode Island. She sat down with Carolee McGrath to share the story of her son Kenny, an Army specialist who was killed in Iraq in 2007. He always wanted to be a protector. He loved protecting, taking care of people, mainly his sister. Uh, they were nine years apart, but when she came along, his world changed. He was the proud big brother. I have many stories to share on, on how he protected her just growing up and shielding her and wanting to be not just a big brother, but a best friend. There was one particular time and Halloween, we were living in West Springfield at the time, and he dressed up as a baseball player just so he could carry the bat. <laughs> um, and he walked behind us. It was like mom needed protected too, and, and, and that I always thought was my job, not with him. Um, and as she grew, I have letters from him from the military when he was overstationed in Iraq, um, wondering how she was doing, if she was starting to date because she was 12, 13 when he oh, was over there. He's yeah. probably not going to like that. <laughs> he was not going to like that. Um, it was just beautiful. Were you um, surprised when he joined the Army? No. Uh, he, from a very young age, when he started to walk, he wanted to join. And I think a lot of that had to do with his dad. His dad was in the reserves in a, right out of high school, and there was always this picture on the wall of his dad in his uniform. And I think that inspired him. But the urge inside of him to protect and, and wanting to do right, I think, drove him. So the, the seed was dropped with that picture, but it just grew inside of him. And the more and more Gold Star mothers that I speak with, their children were the same way that they had it from a very young age, that they wanted to serve their country. They believed in protecting the country, protecting the flag, and doing what was right. That's, I think, where Kenny's drive came from. And you said he served in Iraq, and I know that, that he was killed in October of 07. Correct. Just 22 years old. Yes, he was over there, he was stationed over there for a few months. And he came home actually for his 22nd birthday on leave. And just looking in his eyes, I could tell he was different. He had changed. The things that I had seen, as a mom, I couldn't take away. But he made those choices. He wanted to be in the service. His goals were to, to get out of the military <clears throat> well, do his term, and then military police or local police is where his goals were. Still protecting. Yes, still protecting. Still protecting. I know that this is not a title anybody would wish, and certainly not a title that you want. No. To be a Gold Star mom. No. Um, what has this organization uh, done for you? Oh, I have met so many wonderful mothers and families that we're able to, we can't tell each other we know exactly what we're feeling because we all go through this differently. But we know that somebody shared that experience with us and that we can lean on them. I have a mom that I reach out to on a regular basis here locally who's having an extremely hard time. And all I do is listen. And I try to, to, to help her by listening because I know that struggle where you feel that you're all alone and trying to remind us, the mothers that have multiple children, that we are here for our other children. Our lives don't revolve just about one. So we have to stay strong and we have to push forward for our other family members. And she's doing better. She's, she's getting there. Um, it just takes time. We never get over it. There's no getting over. There's no day, probably no hour, <laughs> no. that you don't think of no. that young man. No. But what gets us through, or what gets me through, I should say, is if roles are reversed, 
How would I want him to live here? I'd want him to shine. Do you ever have a day, because I know you do a lot of speaking um, in the area. Yes. How do you have the strength? Do you ever have a day that, that you say to yourself, listen, I, I just can't do this. I can't share this story. No. I can't. I, I, I have to share, Kenny. I have to share our fallen. They put their lives on the line for us. And without speaking about him or any of our other children, it would, to me, would be a crime. I would be dishonoring them. It's not easy. And then after interviewing, talking, sharing, you have your downtime. Mm -hmm. But I'm one of the lucky ones in the fact that Kenny came home and I have multiple dreams where he's there. As we approach uh, or as we celebrate or, or mark, I should say, Memorial Day this weekend, mm -hmm. um, a, for a lot of people, you know, it's a kickoff to summer, it's a day off. How can you share that message to remind all of us, really, that this is such a so somber and special day um, for our country? I actually just read this article that the Military Times posted, and it was the three things to know about Memorial Day, or the three things that Gold Star families would like you to know about Memorial Day. Uh, the first one is the holiday is to remember our fallen. Not just from past wars, our children die every day, being 22 suicides a day because they can't handle the stress or whatever their circumstance. Um, we have to remember to say their name, take a moment, lower that flag to half staff and remember them. The number two, the meaning of Memorial Day obviously, it, when, when it was started, you know, back right after the Civil War. Right. And number three was that it's not Happy Memorial Day. To try to change that phrase, that you know, there's nothing happy about memorials, um, is to change that to we remember. Those would be obviously the, the three that are very important. Mm -hmm.